everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Only the Brave. Only the Brave is directed by Joseph Kaczynski, and the film stars Josh Brolin, Miles Teller, Jennifer Connelly, Taylor Kitsch, and Jeff Bridges. So Only the Brave tells the story of a group of these firefighters known as the Granite Mountain Hotshots who have to risk their lives to protect the state of Arizona from these wildfires. So Only the Brave is a film I was very interested in, the trailer I thought was pretty interesting and uh, honestly going into this movie I really had no idea it was directed by Joseph Kaczynski. Joseph Kaczynski I really really love him from his directorial debut Tron Legacy. I am actually a huge fan of Tron Legacy. I know not everyone is but I personally love Tron Legacy. On the other hand Oblivion um, wasn't really too big of a fan of that film. His direction is very well done in that film however but it's just the right that yeah it could have been better I'm gonna say straight off the bat this is a fantastic movie I loved only the brave this is definitely one of the best movies of 2017 and honestly I didn't think I was gonna love the movie this much. I was just hoping to really get into the film just I was just hoping for it to be the solid movie and honestly I got a great movie, and it's definitely Joseph Kaczynski's best film since Tron Legacy, in my opinion, of course. What I really admired about Only the Brave uh, definitely are the characters. I did really feel for the characters, even if a lot of them, like when it comes to the firefighters, they don't exactly have a lot of focus. Um, but even if you don't know really much about maybe their backstories and all that, I still did feel for the firefighters. I did still care for them. Obviously, the most developed character when it comes to this film is Miles Teller. He has a very interesting character arc because he starts off as someone that is an alcoholic. His life is completely screwed up. And then the minute he joins this group of elite firefighters you see that he has changed and just to see um, how his character has progressed from the beginning of this film to the end I thought it was very interesting and speaking of Miles Teller great performance great great performance it might actually be his best performance it might be because you know whiplash um, war dogs but this is definitely a different role for him we're used to seeing him play the cocky guy and he really isn't he's just a very quiet man he really does give it his all truly an amazing performance by miles teller josh brolin also gives a fantastic performance. This is easily one of the best performances that Josh Brolin has ever given in his entire career. And, um, you know, he's delivered so many great performances, but man, Josh Brolin really gives it his all. The amount of emotion, similar to Miles Teller, by the way, the amount of emotion that he really brings to this real life person. And you can see why he is pretty harsh when it comes to, you know, the firefighters, why he trains them hard. Because he just wants them to be prepared whenever something so perilous happens. And Jennifer Connelly, really great in this film too. And with these based on true story movies, I can't lie, you know, whenever it cuts to this little subplot with the husband and the wife. Normally, I'm not that interested. I'm just like, okay, can we get to the main focus, like the main thing I really care about? That wasn't the case with Only the Brave, actually. Every time this movie cut to Josh Brolin and Jennifer Connelly, Jennifer Connelly plays Josh Brolin's wife in the film, and every time it did cut to that subplot, I wasn't sitting there going, can we please get to the main plot with um, the firefighters? I actually found myself very invested with that subplot, surprisingly. It is so well written, and Jennifer Connelly as the wife is actually very interesting. It doesn't feel like she's just there to be the wife or be the nagging wife. No, this person that she plays was actually very interesting and you could see where the wife is coming from for her point of view and I have to really um, give the writers a lot of credit. I know one of the writers is Ken Nolan who wrote Black Hawk Down and 
Transformers The Last Night earlier this year, but I have to say him and another writer um, who is slipping my mind right now, but him and another writer did a really good job when it came to a lot of these character moments and how the dialogue is written. I just found it to be so compelling. Jeff Bridges, you know, he's Jeff Bridges. He's a talented guy. He's been doing really, really great. And I really did love him in this film. I thought his character was really interesting as well. And Taylor Kitsch, I have to say, Taylor Kitsch, you know, along with Miles Teller, he does get development. He's not as developed as Miles Teller's character is, but he has definitely developed, and I thought his performance was really nice. And I don't really want to spoil too much what goes on between him and Miles Teller, but it's just interesting how his character goes from really being a piece of shit, really, to Miles Teller. He goes from that to actually being good friends with Miles Teller. And I have to say, Taylor Kitsch is doing a really good job. This guy has really come a long way. I know he hasn't had the strongest start with his career, but honestly, he has been really improving. And that's no different here. He's really good in this film. I did think the rest of the actors that play these group of elite firefighters, they were really good in this film. Speaking of the group of these elite firefighters, I have to talk about, you know, the main focus of the film. And that is definitely when they go out and they have to prepare for the wildfires. There's plenty of scenes where they're just going out and and they're doing some preparing and those scenes were very interesting. Something I found interesting that they did with this film that I thought actually worked is that when it comes to the first two acts, you think that this film is gonna be intense, but no. For the first two acts, anytime we focus on the main storyline with these group of elite firefighters, it's actually very lighthearted. I know it's weird to kind of say about a based on a true story movie, but I guess you can have fun watching them prepare for the wildfire. Like they really do go lighthearted, they'll blast rock music. And I have no problem with that. I actually did really like that. However, when we get to the final act of Only the Brave, that's when we get to that shit gets real territory. That third act is very dramatic, it's very intense, and I thought how the first two acts were building up to that very dramatic third act was very well done. And I gotta be honest and say this, I cried with the final act. That final act was so moving it's some of the most moving moments I've seen in the film in a while. I honestly didn't think I was going to get this emotional watching the third act of this film, but it really got to me. I'm not going to lie. That third act really got to me. The performances from everyone in that third act, wow, everyone truly did give it their all. That's all I can really say. Everyone in that third act, they really gave it their all. And that's not to say they did in the first two acts, they absolutely did. But man, in that final act, that truly was something. And I think that's thanks to Joseph Kaczynski's direction. That's something else I need to say. The writing in this film, it's great. And the approach they took with this film is brilliant. Joseph Kaczynski's direction is truly wonderful here and it is very well shot it's a very good looking movie especially when they're outside with the wildfires that looks spectacular and the visual effects too visually is a very stunning movie and the other thing i really liked about this movie is even though the rest of the firefighters don't really get the focus that miles teller definitely has and taylor kitsch even has you do feel like they're a family. I really believe that. Even if the rest of the firefighters didn't get the focus, I think maybe they could have gotten, but like it's understandable because we're already focusing on the subplot with Josh Brolin and Jennifer Connelly, and then we're focusing on, you know, this storyline, and we're focusing on Miles Teller's side of the storyline where he is trying to change his life for the better because of him finding out that he has a baby. So, you know, you already got that going on. I think the balance was 
was very well done. And as far as flaws, to be honest with you guys, I don't really have a ton of flaws. I'll just say this. The first 15 minutes, I wasn't exactly into it. I'm not gonna lie. I think the first 15 minutes was actually pretty boring. And there's a few other parts that did drag a little bit, not too much. It's really the first 15 minutes I would say is my biggest problem because I was really worried I was not gonna get invested with this film. And it's kind of sloppy too, how it was set up in that first 15 minutes. And even though I did buy into these group of firefighters becoming a family, not a whole lot, but I would like to learn a little bit more about the rest of the group. Just like in bits and pieces, I think that would have been nice personally, because Miles Teller gets a lot of focus and even Taylor Kitsch, but I wish just in little sprinkles, we could have gotten to learn a little bit more about the rest of the firefighters. Overall, Only the Brave is a truly fantastic movie with great writing, great direction, great performances from everyone. This is easily the best film Joseph Kaczynski has done since Tron Legacy for me. I think that this is a based on a true story movie that's told very well. Considering this is based off of an article, I think how they told the story was just so interesting. I was just so engaged with the story. And the fact that these real life people, these real life group of firefighters were willing to risk their lives, they were willing to protect and serve, it makes me respect them a lot. They truly are heroes. They really are heroes. I'm going to give only the brave three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Only the Brave. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.